Welcome to today's episode. We are at Heathrow Airport, London for a long trip down under to Perth, Australia via Singapore, but we don't stay in Singapore for too long. Now we did this trip exactly a year ago today with Qantas, so I really want to compare what is going to be the difference with Singapore and Qantas. Hopefully, Singapore is the one. Uh, with just economy, which sucks, I'm going to try and get a free upgrade, but I doubt it will work. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, we are not Trek trendy. Uh, we're not like him who flies in business class. We are in economy, but that's okay. That's okay. We we've learned. We've learned lessons from our trip last year. Last year we went Qantas all the way um, to Melbourne. This time we're going to Singapore, then Perth, and then Sydney all the way back to London. Last year we picked seats next to the window because normally the most we had done is about four hours. And on a four hour flight you just want to see the view. Yeah. You don't care because you don't need to get up every two minutes. Yeah however last year we were a little bit cramped, uh, it was a little bit uncomfortable so we picked much better seats that you'll see when we actually get on the flight. So I'm very very excited. Are Me you too. looking forward to it? I am. The plane is huge. Well we're on the A380 this time around whereas before we were on a smaller plane. It's going to be interesting because last time it's Qantas, this time it is Singapore. The what's the difference going to be? Yeah, what's, what the, what's the difference going to be? That's what's going to be interesting. So make sure um, you like and subscribe, but obviously go check out last year's flight video and then compare to this one. Well, the A380 is very smooth at takeoff. That was really, was really good. Uh, so, what do we think so far? Nice, much better seats. We do have the toilet behind us, which we may occasionally hear the flush, but it means we can whoop, go all the way back without annoying anyone. So, that's a plus. Um, the film and TV selection are good. Yeah. I've um, got John Wick 4 to watch. I'm watching Fixer Upper, which is a programme I love anyway. I so. did watch an episode of Bluey, just to get me in the mood for Australia. There's a Blue Mountains one. Yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty good so far. It's fairly quiet. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really hungry. So I'm hoping that lunch comes around soon. And we can smell it, so it can't be long away. Yeah, and we'll uh, let you know what we're getting. I would also say uh, it's also great to get Wi-Fi on a plane. It seems pretty good for messaging people. I don't think it's very good for anything else. No, but that's okay. You're I'm not like, going to be watching anything. Like I can message my mum and stuff, so that's nice. Yeah, well, that's a good, you know, you can keep in contact with And your mum will want us to message her. Yeah. So I'll message her lots. Yeah. We're nearly two hours into the flight and we finally got some lunch and I am so hungry, so let's see what we got. Well, a pretty decent serving. We've got typical bread. Then we've got a little prawn and rice salady type dish. And the main, gnocchi, spinach, and chicken. Then over here, some cheese and crackers to finish off. What I do find quite funny is that literally they've got a plastic tub of water. Starting off with the little salads. I do like prawns. Tastes fine, pretty good. Rice, oh, a little. Tiny, tiniest little kick strip. But that is a really good cold little rice salad. Now, onto the main. One thing I do like is the fact that they got metal knife and forks, which is amazing. Chicken, let's get a bit of uh, the peppery stuff on. Wow, actually, not bad. So I'm so surprised, I wasn't expecting. After last year's Qantas trip, where the food was less than ideal, this is really good. Gnocchi. It's okay. It's a bit rubbery, but the taste is fine. Um, that is the first course, and I am really impressed. 
I think that's actually the first time I have enjoyed food on a plane. And they've now come around with dessert, which is strawberries and cream ice cream, which seems like it's going to be a really nice dessert. Let's try some. Really smooth ice cream, actually really nice. Well, in the cheap seats, this is what we get in terms of a lavatory. Uh, we do get a nice couple of mirrors at least. Uh, and I would like to say there is a nice touch that toothbrush, toothpaste ready for you to go. Uh, God, I want to be in business class. Three hours later. Well, after trying to sleep and not managing it, uh, as, as we do on these flights, we have got our second meal of the flight. Which However, is technically breakfast. It's sort of a breakfast, but then sort of dinner. So in Singapore, where we're going to, it is currently 10 to 2 in the morning. Uh, in, in England, it is about 7.15 7 about in, the in the evening. So I suppose it's dinner time. But I don't feel hungry now. This feels no, weird because we need to set climatize to the, is that the right word? Climatize to the destination. Um, let's see what we got. Bread roll again. Then it's a cheese omelet. I think it's like potatoes and a couple of meatballs with a oat cream and mango crisp yogurt and four pieces of fruit. And I'm disgusted because Charlie's got five bits. Uh, and Charlie's got, what is it? Um, prawn breakfast noodles. Prawn breakfast noodles. It tastes like spaghetti though. I'm only going to go for the main. It just feels weird because it's sort of half breakfast meal, half not. Let's see the omelette. Is it it's cheesy? okay. You know on Qantas when I had breakfast I had an omelette, it was quite powdery. Yeah. This is quite smooth. So that's okay. I think maybe because of the cheese in it. Let's see the omelette, uh, the meatball. I will give it, Singapore, crying baby, um, Singapore does trump Qantas with the main meals. But the fact however, that I've eaten anything is a big difference. I would say, however, last year when we were on Qantas, they actually, when it was like the lights were off, they constantly came around offering food, whereas I've had to go get food. However, the main meals are so much better. Exciting. We've got to get to A16, and that means the Sky Train. I've never been on a Sky Train. Well, I was a bit peckish, so I thought I'd get some, some noodles. Funny thing is, we actually get these in our shops over in, in England, so that's quite cool. Um, the flight goes in about 50-ish minutes, and it's going to be another five hours to Perth, and we should land just after two o'clock. So, very excited. Hopefully, we'll get some sun, and uh, we'll see you on the plane. two hours into the flight to Perth and dinner has arrived or is it lunch I, I'm losing lunch. track of time I'm losing track of time um, so this is what we've got the main is a black bean chicken with noodles and then there is a prawn and couscous salad with a, a bit of a sad looking bread roll to be honest uh, and cheese and crackers as well if anyone can answer me this though why do airlines not do cider as a drink? Because I am a cider drinker. I've had to be drinking Tiger uh, for the, how long, 12, 13, 14 hours now that we've been flying. Um, and I, would, I just don't understand why do airlines not do cider? Hopefully someone can tell me in the comments. And while you're down there, like and subscribe. 50 minutes left and then we're in Perth. Uh, we finally had a little bit of sleep. Charlie's been asleep for most of this this uh, second part of the journey. I had a little doze off after watching Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, 
I, I don't know if I can get used to doing this long haul that often. It is difficult on the body, but it's been fairly smooth sailing. I think uh, Singapore is, is pretty much been more comfy than Qantas. Food has been better than Qantas. It's been okay, it's been all right, but I am exhausted. Uh, we're almost there, we're almost there. Uh, the sun hopefully is waiting for us in Perth. We finally made it to Perth. I just want to go to sleep now, but we must not. We must climatize to the time. Now we've got to go for a bit of security. And we've finally made it to the hotel. We've done like a little mini tour on the way to the hotel and such kind gestures. Okay, I've got to get this in. Swan Valley. Swan Valley Transfers and Tours. This is Greg. Greg has kindly picked us up from the hotel uh, with his little sign saying our names. Uh, and he's taken us all the way here. Give us a little bit of information on different places. And I'm very, very looking, very much looking forward to exploring more of Perth. So thank you so much, Greg. Uh, you've, there's so much more to come. Let's go check out the room. And there you have it for our first vlog in Australia. That was a long, long trip and I am exhausted. I don't know if just to crash now and just conk out until the morning, um, but we probably shouldn't. We should probably go and find some dinner later on. Um, Maybe has, you have like an hour power nap. Power nap that power nap. ends up lasting seven hours. Um, how did you find the flight? Um, it was okay, just very long. I slept really well on the second flight though. The second flight, uh, I slept pretty much the whole way. I didn't even really did. eat the food, she I just did. slept. She did. Um, but we've got so many more vlogs coming up. There will be loads, there will be loads. So what do what they have to do? Make sure you like and subscribe. Please do, please do, because we've got so many coming from Australia. They'll be coming thick and fast. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Bye.